So this question appeared in the paper of IES 2018. They said this that uh, you given with the cost minimizing demand for labor L is Q by 50 root of uh, RW and that of capital is K Q by 50 root of W by R. Find the associated production function. See, it's a duality in uh, production and cost. So basically, uh, it says what? You have the production maximization problem. Which says what? You maximize YKL subject to like this. So what you do is that given the cost, you would want to maximize your output. That's what you'll be doing. So that's an idea here. So this is the cost function which is given to you and then you will ask that what is the highest output? Is this the highest output? No, you can go further. This one is the highest output. Right. So you have uh, KL. So this is the primal problem. You don't have to write all this in the answer. I'm just telling you. Um, and the dual of this problem is it doesn't look good da, da, da. Right. the dual of this problem is the cost minimization problem that is you want to achieve a particular uh, output for that what is the minimum cost which is there so the dual of the problem is this guy or the cost minimization problem cost minimization problem is a dual problem so it says what that is you want to minimize subject to this output level that is from this production function you want to achieve this output level so what is the idea so basically you have this you want to have an output level of this this is the output level you want to achieve so what is the minimum cost is this the minimum cost no this guy is the minimum cost right this guy is the minimum cost cost so what do you have this is the dual problem So this is the duality in cost and production. So you're given with what? You're given with L equals to Q by 50 root of R by W, right? And K equals to Q by 50. root of W by R. So what you can do is that you can write everything in terms of Q. Well, if you write everything in terms of Q, you get this guy, 50L root of W by R. And from here, when you write Q, it comes out to be 50K root of R by W. Well, these Qs are equal. So you guys can write 
50 L root of W by R equals to 50 K root of R by W. So from here you get L W equals to uh, L W equals to K R and I can write W. I can write everything in terms of W, so W would be your K by L, K by L. R. Now what I can do is that I can write my L function again and my L function is what? Q by 50 root of R by root of W. You know? So it becomes what? Q by 50 root of r upon what is the root of w from here that is root of k by root of l into root of r so this root of r root of r will get cancelled out and this will be q by 50 root of l upon root of k so something like this now basically you have l equals to Q by 50 root of L upon root of K. So this thing becomes what? Q equals to 50 root LK. That's an idea. Huh? Well, although it's not asked, but you can also derive the cost function. Huh? So you can also derive the cost function from here. Although these, it's it's very simple just to derive the cost function from here because you are given the demand functions. Uh, you're given what? You're given this guy. Your Q by 50 root of R by root of W and uh, Q by 50 root of W by root of R. So one way is this. Hmm? One way is just this. So, in place of L, you guys can write Q by 50 root of R by root of W plus R. And in place of K, you guys can write Q by 50 root of W by root of R. Right? So it is basically what? Q by 50 root of WR plus Q by 50 root of WR. That is Q by 25 root of WR. But that is the case when you are given with the, when you are given with these uh, contingent input demand functions. Well, you could have also been asked that given this production function, which you have derived, which you have derived, now derive the cost function. Uh, so instead of using this, uh, forget about that you were given uh, the contingent input demand function. So if you're given this guy, so what do you have? This is not the part of the answer. I'm just giving you, I'm just doing this as an extra thing. So we have. Q is equal to 50 root LK. So what do you do? You minimize WL plus RK subject to Q equals to 50 root LK. So that's what you do. That is you minimize this. Uh, uh, this is the objective function of the cost minimization problem. So you set up the Lagrange right <clears throat> so you have lambda 50 root of L upon or uh, 2 root K. 
Is this right? Oh, I've done it for, I've done it for this guy. I'm so sorry. Right. So it should be root of k upon 2 beta equals to 0, right? Then del L by del k is r minus lambda 50 root of L upon 2 root k equals to 0. Uh, and uh, del L by del lambda is q minus 50 root L k equals to 0. So you can divide first by second. This is first, this is second. So you can divide first by second and once you divide that, you will be getting r by w or second by first. r by w equals to n upon k. Right? You can just divide second by first and you will be getting this guy. So l equals to r by w into k. And I can substitute this back into the third equation, which is what? Q minus 50. In place of L, I can write R by W K into K equals to 0. Right. So from here, you will be having what? Q minus 50 K root of R by w equals to 0. So k equals to q by 50. Uh, yeah, q by 50 root of w by r. k equals to this guy. Similarly, you guys can find out L. So that L would be equal to q by 50 root of r by w. Right, right? And then you have this. So these were the only uh, expressions which were given to you. These were the only expressions which were given to you. So you can just find out C, which is your cos, which is WL plus RK. Simple. Just substitute these values, W, uh, this L and K, and you will be getting this L and K, which you have derived, you will be getting Q by 25. root of wr right that's one thing then you have the another question it says what it says this for q equals to min of akbl derive the associated cost function also again derive the production function from the derived cost function simple so what do you do is this guy So you have q equals to min of akbl. So at equilibrium, ak equals to bl equals to q beta. ak equals to q, k equals to q by a. Here bl equals to q l equals to q by b because guys these are uh, used in the perfect complementary fashion so they're used in this ratio only what is the cost of using k rk which is r q by a what is the cost of using l wl which is w q by b right total cost wl plus rk that is w q by b plus r q by a that means w by p plus r by a q that's what your cost function is huh? you can also derive this production function from this so what do you have is this guy so c equals to w by b plus r by a q you can use uh, the shepherd's lemma and uh, once you differentiate that 
so del c by del w would be q by b but that is equal to the contingent input demand function which is this similarly del c by del r is q by a which is nothing but equal to the contingent input demand function of the capital well so q by so from here q equals to bl from here q equals to ak since q's are equal so it means what bl equals to ak you know so you have what you can write l upon a equals to k upon b equals to k upon b they are used in this ratio only uh, so this is the only ratio in which they are going to be used k by l is used in this ratio b is to a so what is the production function when the inputs are going to be used in this proportion only well it is min of um, either you can write l by a k by b or you can write min of uh, a k b l So you can use Varian or Nicholson uh, in order to do these kinds of questions, right? Okay.